Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 409. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we have a bit of unpleasant news this week with the whole COVID-19 pandemic going about. Everybody is forced to stay at home, to self-quarantine, to make sure that they don't catch or spread the virus. So... The news that we're going to report on this week follows, quote-unquote, the same theme. But um, I we have some things to talk about later. So let's get into the news first. So first up in the news, Diamond Comic Distribution to shut down indefinitely physical pony comics delay. So written by the Lester Q, I'm just going to read what he wrote up. To help combat the COVID-19 pandemic, which is griping the world, Diamond Comic Distribution Incorporated has made the choice to cease all operations until further notice. This, um, <coughs> What this means is that the comic distribution will no longer receive new product from comic publishers' partner, nor will they send out new comic products to local comic shop retails. <coughs> with the end result being this Wednesday's is the final new comic book day for the foreseeable future. This is this also means the physical launch of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season Ten is postponed until further notice. Equestria Daily will be reaching out to our friends at IDW Publishing to confirm whether or not digital release will continue un interrupted date after re- <coughs> after reaching out to IDW Publishing they are unable to comment at this time as to what their plans are because this development was so recent Equestria Daily will continue to bring you news and update as this situation at as, as this situation mm. uh, an editorial on how this might impact the comic industry as a whole can be found after the break. Yep. So, long story short, Diamond Comics Distribution is a huge comic book distribution company that distributes comics to, I'm guessing, around the world from the United States, wherever they're based at, to even here, down to Malaysia. So, with them closing down or shutting down for a bit, we we don't get any new comics. So basically, we're not going to get any new comics for a very long time. They, they, <laughs> they even themselves haven't revealed how long they're going to close down or shut down. So just looking through here, uh, they do distribute a lot of comics from a lot of publishers from Marvel, DC, Dark Horse, and even IDW. Uh, I'm also Valley Andre. I'm also guessing Valen is also in their wheelhouse, probably. <coughs> but still, uh, with them closing down, a lot of comic books won't be sent to us. But like you mentioned, um, digital comics are still around, so probably that won't get affected. Let's move on to the next news. So IDW suspends all May release. My Little Pony such Transformers friendship in disguise crossovers <laughs> crossover delay. So uh, written by the illustrious Q again, IDW Publishing has released an open letter to the comic industry with regards to Diamond Comics announcement from earlier this week. While exact details in uh, sorry, <coughs> while exact details in it as to what IDW is planning to do with their publishing line are sparse one key detail has dramatic implications for all idw comic titles being published in may 2020 <coughs> in the letter idw publishing announced that all release of their comic title releasing in may from may 6 to may 27 are suspended this means that <coughs> this means that in an effort to help the comic Retailers throughout the world, IDW Publishing will not 
release any comics of note. This directly impacts the release of the My Little Pony tr- slash Transformers friendship in the Sky Crossover event series and My Little Pony Friendship is Magic issue 19. Uh, now delayed with no rescheduled release date. The full letter from Chris Real, Idea with President, Publisher and Chief Creative Officer can be found here and after the break. This is a developing story which Quest Radio will continue to cover as updates come in. And here it goes. If you are interested, go ahead and read it. So what this means is that IDW will stop distribution for its May release. So this is a good thing for the comic book stores. They won't have any backlogs or disgruntled comic book readers because, oh, I can't get my comics, so I better get them digitally. With this, they're going to stop all of me's release. So that means no digital, no physical. And that's fair game because if digital were to release, what's the point of buying physical anymore? So it's a fair game for everybody in the IDW universe. I'm, we're not sure about how Marvel or DC is going to handle things. Probably they'll follow suit just to help the comic book industry or probably they'll just stop digit, no, physical and just keep on digital. Who knows? And this is kind of a big gamble on IDW because if they just cease all production on physical, digital will still be there and they'll still make some cash out of this. But them not doing this is commendable. But still, um, that means no comics for me. And well, if you are like me... We do the review and discussion podcast. We do also cover the comics. But as for now, we have a backlog of comics that need to be reread and reviewed. And luckily for me, in terms of work, I have a few blocks of, what you call this, a few blocks of issues that need to be dealt with before I can handle anything new. So with the delay, I won't have any work to do so I can keep up with the backlog which is cool and oh boy I am really confused right now anyway (coughs) that's the news for this week so hello guys as I mentioned before with the whole pandemic going on we are asked to stay at home to stop the spread of the virus and who whomever who has followed suit good on you clap but <coughs> for people who are going still crazy because they are not used to staying at home used to well just doing stuff at home um i'm noticing that most introverts for them, this is just a daily life. No, it's normal for them. They don't really mind staying at home because that's what they do on a regular basis. For most extroverts, it's driving them insane. Some are doing sketch comedies by themselves. Some are involving their family. And some are partaking in activities such as cooking, cleaning starting a new project probably i'm not sure there's a lot out there and there's a lot of uh what you call this live streaming on instagram facebook twitch and so on so that's really cool like the creative types will be creatives while the non-creative types will just consume so it's a win-win situation and as for now, it is recommend to, according to your uh, governments, 
uh, stay at home, just listen to what they have to say, and just follow this quietly and just just let it play through. Let it play through, and once it's done, things will be. I won't say normal, but things will be. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, manageable. So for now, uh, Malaysia. Uh, it was said that we are to sorry the movement control order was to be released on the thirty first, which is two days from now, uh, or something like that. I don't remember. Um, but we are having an extension because the spread or the what you call this, the infection rate has gotten up, and the infection rate has gotten up. That means. People are getting sick and people need to quarantine themselves even longer. So for Malaysia, we are technically being quarantined or self-quarantined for a month now. And that might cause some panic. And in all honesty, <coughs> don't go out with... Sorry, don't go out if you don't have a reason. If If you have to go to the supermarket or grocery I, I i got no idea what your side of the pond have but over here um, most grocery stores and most shopping centers with the caveat of their let's say walmart are still open but are limited to one person per family to go out and shop or buy stuff i mean if you are in that situation, um, if you have <laughs> if you are in that situation, if you need to go out to buy stuff, uh, always bring, always may, <coughs> always wear a mask, always bring some hand sanitizer and wet tissue. One of the few things that germs can spread is through the easiest way is from the shopping cart or trolley. Uh, if you hold the handle, you got no idea who has hold it and who has cough on their hand and then hold it and stuff so the best thing you can do is grab a wet tissue wipe it down or if you have I'm not sure if sand side is will work but you know, wet tissue wipe it down and then do your shopping and try not to pick up a lot of things that are not needed for example if you go to the potato chip aisle and if you see some potato chips and you're just taking and looking taking and looking it's not recommended for now because you like like it's like the shopping cart you got no idea who's holding it so once shopping is done you get back home straight away go wash your hands with soap do the whole uh, jitsu thing whatever it is and make sure it's clean do the whole hand thing whatever it is so make sure to keep yourself safe guys because getting hit with the concrete sucks getting hit with a flu sucks getting with the ultra instinct flu thing that's not going to be great so keep yourself healthy keep yourself sorry, uh keep proper hygiene and stuff so make your make sure that you are well protected Make sure to keep proper hygiene, all that stuff. Those are the essentials for now. So anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap this up because as for what have I been doing with my week, technically nothing besides the video games and the... Hmm, well, to say movies, not much. Cartoons probably I've been watching. I, I just finished the Steven Future thingy. That was an episode. Mm -hmm. My thoughts on it? It's okay, I guess. It's not the greatest. It's okay. Steven has problems. He needs to see a therapist. And he needs to be honest with himself. But other than that, it was a good show. Yep. So, let's move on to the end. 
If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dmbshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stitch radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PrenupLive.com. Links are in the show notes. You can also subscribe and rate us on iTunes and Stitcher Radio for the Review and Discussion Podcast. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Totera reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, movies, and specials. And also, we like to do other things. We like to review anime, comic books, uh, video games, and movies. So, do check us out there because we like to do stuff. We, we're, we're nerds like you. So, anyhow... If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And what you can catch on the Patreon as an exclusive is an unedited cut of the review and discussion podcast. Uh, over there, you'll get to hear fl- flub lines, bloopers, things that are not meant to be heard by the general public so it's a fun time there so anyway uh, talking about thank yous I would like to thank Lucky Knight Amy Jeffrey Tristan and also Master of Lag thank you so much guys you are great so anyway I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MVS show see ya